show you, demonstrate how to perform low profile tire removal and installation with a tire changer 513A. It comes with a metal head and optional plastic head as well. The bead breaker buffer, the rim protectors, goes on the inside of the rim so you don't scratch the rim. Also it's got a manual push down protectors for the rim again so you don't damage the rim with the with the bar. Right? Comes with replacement plastic adapters for the for the metal head. It also comes with a manual and uh, adapter for this to push the tire down. When you're clamping on the inside, you need to push the tire down and you can use this. Use 225-45R18 low profile tire to demonstrate removal and installation of the tire. We're gonna remove the valve core. So most of the machines come with an adjustable bead breaker. You can adjust the angle of it. If you want it straight or on an angle, you can adjust it with that. Again, all the, all the machines have oil regulator and water, water trap. In order to fill the oil, and if you don't see any oil dripping, you can adjust it with a small screwdriver on top here. Now that the bead is broken, we're gonna take the tire. Or for the mounting, demounting head. Push it down a little bit. Give us some room and we're going to lubricate the tire. Once that is done, put the lube aside. We're going to grab the bar. Here, we're gonna raise this slowly. You're gonna use this to help you with the bar. So in this case, the rim is stuck on the inside of the, the bottom, inside of the bead is stuck on the rim. We're gonna use, we're gonna use the disc, place it under the tire and make sure it's not under the rim. This here gives you a place so in case it's slipping, Put this here and you hold it. Just like that. You're gonna use the bar. Tilt 
the arm. Once you've set up the mounting demounting head, you don't need to reset it again. Just tilt the arm, remove the tire, clean your rim on both sides. And then you're gonna apply bead sealer. Then you're gonna, once all that is done, you're gonna put some lubricant on the inside and outside beads of the tire. You gotta watch for the tire inside outside, asymmetric tires or directional tires. So, again, this is gonna go over the demounting head to mount the tire. Like that. Now we're gonna use Sometimes two, maybe three, maybe all three arms. And then you gotta make sure one is lower than the other. And as you're going around, you're gonna bring the arm up so it doesn't interfere with the bead and you damage the tire. Get everything out of your way. You're gonna tilt the arm back. Put the valve co tire inflation gauge on. So this has got two steps. First step. Push the pedal halfway, it'll fill the tire, push it fully, that'll beat blaster. It's got a built-in beat blaster you can use. You don't want to go past 40 psi when you're filling it when you're installing the tire, because anything past 40 psi the tire may explode and you could have injuries. Check the pressure, set your pressure, whatever the vehicle setting is, and that's it, you're done.